When I was graduating from college, my mother came to my graduation and said, "I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is I'm coming to your graduation. The bad news is the dead bird under the nest never learns how to fly." I said, "What the hell does that mean, Mom?" She said, "No more checks. I have paid for your education from birth to last day of college." You're done. I'm still your mother, but I'm done writing checks. This is your last day. You're finished. You finished college. I said, Mom, I don't have a job. I'm going to go bankrupt. She said, Too bad. You should have thought about that when we were taking arts courses. I said, Well, it doesn't really matter what I took. I don't have a job. She said, You'll figure it out. And it was a tough couple of years. What she was saying there. I learned later, God rest her soul, is she hates entitlement. She doesn't like the idea of de-risking somebody's life by guaranteeing them a free ride. Now I didn't think a lot about that, but years later, when I had my first liquidity event in Boston, the sale of a learning company, we sold it for 4.2 billion. There were ten of us that were founders, and I went across the river. We were in Cambridge. I went to Boston, and I went to a lawyer and I said, "Look, I'd like to do a generational skipping trust. The trust pays." Every expense for a child, even born out of wedlock, generations from now, till last day of college, and then they get nothing. And he said, "Are you sure you want to do that?" I said, "Yeah, I want to do that. That's what my mother did to me. It's a free ride from birth to last day of your education, and you can stay in the system as long as you like. You can get your fourth PhD. I don't care. But at some point, the dead bird under the nest never learns how to fly. So that's what I did. I went home. My children at the time were four and six. I explained the structure of the trust to them. Exactly. They just kept watching cartoons. But years and years later, my son, who was doing really poorly in high school, came to me and said, "Hey, Dad, one of my friends has a trust. He was telling me all about it. I have a trust too, don't I?" I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a trust, Trevor. You don't have to worry about it. Mom and I are going out to dinner tonight. We're going to see a movie, like we always do. If we get run over by a bus, you don't have to worry because you're going to get to finish high school. But I don't think you have to worry about going to college. Your marks are horrific. He said, well, what does that have to do with the trust? I said, oh, a lot. I'll be dead, and you won't have any money. He said, wait a second. I thought you said the trust pays. I said, yes. While you're in school till the last day of your education, and he looked at me and said, what? What happens when I finish? I said, you finish. You got to get a job. You got to work. You have to figure it out. The horror in his eyes. That was my mother right there, and that's when I said to him, Trevor, the dead bird under the nest never learns how to fly. And he said, That sucks. However, here we are, 15 years later. He's an engineer at Tesla, senior engineer, one of the youngest there. He sucked me dry going through engineering school. He figured it out. Entitlement is a curse. You should think about that.